I know what you're thinking. What's all this stuff? Well, this is a Faro Bank. Faro was by far the most popular gambling game back in the Old West, and with 22 saloons here in town during its heyday, it's a sure bet that Faro was a popular pastime with the miners here in Calico. In fact, Wyatt Earp's brothers James and Virgil were in Calico trying to establish a Faro business in 1885. The game was easy to learn and play, and it was possible to enjoy the game for a long time without losing a lot of money. There were four basic pieces of equipment in a faro bank. The layout was made up of a single family of 13 cards, usually spades, arranged in order from the ace around to the king. Suits did not matter in faro. The case keeper kept track of every card turned by the dealer. A bead was moved for every card turned. The check rack held the checks which were used for betting and the dealer box held the cards. To start the game, the banker would shuffle the cards and place them face up in the dealer box as punters made their bets on the layout. When all the bets were made, the banker would remove the top card, called the soda, uncovering the losing card. Then the losing card was removed from the box, revealing the winning card. Any bets placed on the losing card were collected by the banker. Any bets on the winning card were paid one for one. Bets on all the other cards were not affected. Punchers could make several wagers and could bet flat on a single card or they could place bets on multiple cards by placing a check between two cards, among four cards, or among the six, seven, and eight, which was called the pot. The punters could also make the high card bet, which was wagering that the winning card was higher in value than the losing card. Players would lose their bets if the losing card was higher than the winning card. Aces were low in Faro. Well, that's the basics of the game of Faro. I should tell you that the odds for the players were so good that Faro bankers had to cheat a little bit to make sure that they could earn a living. And yes, sometimes they got caught. Take some time and look at some of the other exhibits here at Lil's and click on the QR codes for more information. Now, if you're interested in playing Faro in person, consider coming back to Calico for California Days on President's Day weekend in February or for Calico Days at the end of September. I have a whole gambling hall filled with Old West games with a seat at the table just for you. You might even find me right here at Lil's Saloon on weekends with a nice, honest Faro game going on. Be sure to check in whenever you're in town.